Yeah. Hi, hi everyone. My name is Mark Geisenhold. I'm a professor at UCL, um, mostly working in the machine learning area, but also in, in robotics. And I helped uh, setting up this, this undergraduate degree, um, mostly the machine learning aspects. So coming back to the question, um, if you're interested in machine learning slash AI and not so much in robotics, then maybe this particular degree isn't the right choice for you. And I would then rather recommend going for a CS degree um, but if you are interested at the intersection of robotics and uh, machine learning slash AI, then uh, maybe that degree is exactly the right thing for you. Okay. Um, I, I'd add something to that, actually. Um, th there's, there's more AI baked into this course than you might find on our normal CS um, course. Mm -hmm. It starts earlier um, and it progresses through. As Mark said, that it's in the context um, of robotics, that, but there will be more AI. Yeah, we do have, yeah. the, I would say, uh, we have an introduction to machine learning, we have a deep learning course, but you know, the, uh, I think in year three or four, we also have a, a robot learning course where you apply machine learning methods specifically to robotics. But um, I would still, still stick to the what I said earlier, if you don't wanna do robotics, this course isn't for you because you will do a lot of robotics. So is, is a decisive thing here about whether you want to get your hands dirty or whether you want to just stick with a keyboard. If you need you need to want to build things, physical artifacts and yeah, great. Okay, and, um, and people are also worried about, or people are thinking about, I, I mean, people are wondering about what the career prospects are here. Uh, is one better than the other? Or, so I'm gonna also ask uh, perhaps our students here, to tell us, you know, from their point of view, how much sort of access to uh, AI and machine learning and even robotics topics are they able to get through the ordinary uh, UCL computer science degree? Do, do Clarissa or Pom feel you could say anything like that? Clar what, who are you pointing at, Clarissa? Oh, Pom, sorry. <laughs> well, either of you might. Yeah, um, I do think there are quite a few options to study machine learning in the regular degree. Um, and that is during the, I think, third and fourth years, there are a few optional modules that you can take that will um, cover those topics. But also there's um, a program called the Integrated Engineering Project or something like that. Yeah. and within those you can pick robotics which will allow you to study a few modules in the robotics field um, and that includes an introduction to robotics um, medical and industry robots and machine <coughs> learning in robotics so there are a few options in the regular course as well so you do get modules with artificial intelligence um, with artificial intelligence and neural computing but it's not like a foundational part of the course so if that's something like you're really interested in you want to focus on um, I definitely think this is what you should go. Uh, you should go for the new one. Okay. Um, yeah. And then um, for Steve, people are asking. It's a popular question: Is applying for both courses a reasonable thing to do? Um, it's certainly a, a possible thing to do. I think that you know that's an individual decision ultimately. Um, but um, as far as I'm aware, this is something you can um, do. We will consider the applications um, for, for both courses. Okay. So you kind of, they get, they get considered separately. The fact that you've put both in wouldn't affect the outcome of either of them. But of course, you've used up one of your, um, right. one of your options. And, and, and someone is also asking, we'll, we'll talk about personal statements in a bit. Obviously, you only get to write one personal statement, so it's going to be a little bit, you're going to have to sort of aim it somewhere between the two.